COVID cases are rising again across the U.S. as the Delta variant continues to spread. Now, this comes as the medical community faces a nationwide shortage of health care workers, including hospitals here in Chattanooga. Our Joy Duke spoke to the staff at CHI Memorial. They shared details about how their operations have been impacted by the shortage and the recruitment effort underway. Joy? Yes, Cindy, we've seen worker shortages across industries, and unfortunately, the healthcare system is not immune. While this time last year, Mayor Jim Coppinger was calling on healthcare workers to come out of retirement to aid medical staff on the front lines, CHI Memorial's chief nursing officer tells us that they've seen fewer people coming out of retirement and more people going into it. Just another sign that pandemic fatigue is setting in. As COVID-19 case numbers begin to rise once again in Hamilton County, local hospitals are struggling to fill jobs. I'm about 150 nurses off where I was pre-pandemic. Chief Nursing Officer Rhonda Hatfield says CHI Memorial tracks that data weekly. We look at how many positions are filled, how many are we actively recruiting for, who's moving in and out of the area. And the numbers are proof of the unprecedented mental strain frontline workers have faced in the last year. It didn't only impact them at work, it impacted them in their homes. They had to care for their own family members. Hatfield, who has been on staff at Memorial for 25 years, says working through the pandemic was unlike anything she dealt with before. During 2009, 2010, you know, we went through SARS and the bird flu. Um, and we had high ventilator usage and we had challenges then. But this last year, I think the mortality of COVID-19 is really what was different. Millions of deaths worldwide, 600,000 in the U.S. and just over 500 in Hamilton County. Every health care um, related job has been impacted with the pandemic. With ER visits up, elective surgeries back to normal, and the health department bracing for a possible third surge brought on by the highly contagious Delta variant, she says the hospital is trying to find ways to attract more candidates. So we're able to provide good insurance and also assist with maybe college or furthering your education. Both new and those previously considered. Every Friday in July, we are recalling anyone that may have applied to us um, on our website and maybe didn't get the job they wanted then. CHI Memorial is also partnering with high schools and colleges to rebuild the ranks, but Hatfield says they're prepared to rise to the occasion with the staff they have currently if there is another wave of cases. Now you can find a link to apply to a job at CHI Memorial by clicking on this story inside the WRCB app. And once you do go to that website, you have to either click CHI Memorial when it says select our positions or you have to actually select Tennessee or Georgia as the locations in order to find jobs that are in this area. We're now reporting live at CHI Memorial tonight, Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.